you had mentioned you guys, you named your block after uh, your friend that you grew up with, Psycho Mag. Can you kind of talk about him a little bit? And um, yeah, um, Psycho, he um, he um, he was he was sixteen when he died. Um, he's my best friend, to be honest. And we just we were just trying to trying to do something with our life, and then he he went off and wanted to go to a. He went to Jeffrey Manor and wanted to go play basketball and got mistaken identity by some They thought he was their officer, whatever the case may be. They shot him like six times, all in his chest and his head with his shirt off while he was playing basketball. Type. So, that's, that's goofy. And one of my other best friends was there to watch it. You know, He saw the whole thing. So, And I wanted that. He left my house and went to, and got shot. You know, That broke me down. So I ain't had no choice but to. Get him old. He was my best friend, you know, so. It just pissed me off and made me want to go harder. That's all. I mean, besides making it want to go harder, like, how do you think it, like, it affected you, like, mentally? Fuck me all up. He was one of my, he was one of my first deaths, you know, like, I ain't really, I ain't really, you know, like, like, knew, knew too much about how, losing somebody real close to you, you know, like. You know, like I done lost family members, but they was distant family members, motherfuckers. But having a motherfucker who die who be with you every day, man, that's something that 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 fuck you up. It fucked me up all the way, you know. But he want his death want the death that made me what what child know me as today, you know. Like he just he put me in my rapping mode, but all that other shit, that game banging shit. I want game banging for psycho. I don't like that. Like I was just rapping for psycho. I, I'm gonna continue to rap for him. That's what I. That's what I rap for. It's like, uh, for sure. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. I seen he was a big dude. He used to get in a lot of fights. Yeah, yeah. He was like six four. He was tall as hell. He, he, yeah, he was fighting all the niggas in Motown for me. I wasn't fighting nobody. So when I when we was growing up in Motown together, he used to fight all the moles for us and shit. Cause he was taller, so he was older. He was a gray high than me, so. When we'd get into it with niggas, he'd be there to step in and fight fight the niggas for us and shit like that. We used to always get into fights and shit with all the niggas from Motown, all the young niggas. But they was cool, though. After a while, they knew we weren't no punks, so they, they got cool with us. That's, that's just how that happened. Okay, I don't hear about too many fight stories, you know, it's just coming out of Chicago, unfortunately. Yeah, ain't nobody fighting out here, man. And, <laughs> yeah, only when we was kids. Once you start getting a little older, you ain't fighting nobody no more. Fights go away. Well, you know, growing up in Chicago, man, you know, uh, everybody's kind of got, like, you know, some wild experiences, you know. What, what do you think was, like, you know, one of the crazy experiences you had growing up in Chicago? She had growing up in Chicago. The whole experience was wild. Shit. That shit not cool. It's not it's not a good place. To be honest, you could say it's a great place to grow up in, but it's not, bro. Like I know what uh, a suburban life look like, you know, like that's not the life you wanna live growing up in Chicago, bro. Yeah, no. Nah. I lost a lot of homies at young ages. Senseless violence, you know, like I just like the things. I ain't really got too many stories because everything was wild, you know. Like we didn't did a lot of, a lot of stuff. Like it's a lot of stuff that been done. Like man, <laughs> it's crazy though. Like it's crazy though. It's crazy. It's a lot of blood. A lot of tr people trading on each other. It's a lot of shit like that going on, man. Like that's all it is. Like you wouldn't even want to talk about it. Your music starts to blow up, man, and, you know, it really starts to take off. You know, what was, like, your first video that actually started doing some real numbers? Um, My first video, shit, my first, first video, shit, I did 600,000 views, but then I did a period proof. That bitch did, like, 500,000. Then my first million views was Niggas Be Bitches. I did a million views on that song. Then I start everything after that, start getting millions. It was it was on the road for that. I had the whole 2020, what that was, 2022, 2021. One of them bitches, I had the whole city. I really had the whole city since 2019. Like, since 2019, I've been, since 2020, I ain't gonna say 19, since 2020 to now, I've been lit. Like, 
on the music side. Like my first ever song I dropped and was in like 2020. Yeah, I've been I've been pulling in more than a half million views every song. You know, I might go down some songs. You might see a little couple hundred thousands there, you know? but I stay relevant. You know, stay relevant throughout the whole like, two three years that been going on since I've been out. You know, so. Yeah, I've been lit. And then what up drops? What up drop? I go crazy. It was over with. <laughs> it was over with. Man, it was over with. When you made the song, did you know it was a hit? Nah, nah. I think every song I make a hit, you know, like me personally. But a lot of my team and the people around me didn't believe in that song. But my team supported me real strong. My fans supported me strong. So whatever I put out there, they going to they gonna. Hop on it, you know, they're going to support it. And it actually grew bigger than what we thought it was going to be. Yeah, how many views did you do? Like, you did like over 10 mil, right? Yeah, I did like over 10 mil. Over 10 mil. By myself, without Polo. Then Polo come hopping on my shit. And we do 60 million in a year. So, you know. Crazy, man. Ain't even been a whole year. It's been like nine, eight months. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.